Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example 9 from chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorems from 2.1 to 2.6, exercises 2.1, 2.2 and 2.3, examples 1 to 8. If you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly, let us begin with the video. Example number 9 from chapter 2 triangle says, in figure 2.43, the line segment XY is parallel to side AC of triangle ABC and it divides the triangle into two parts of equal areas. Find the ratio AX by AB. So this is the figure given and they are saying us that the line segment XY is parallel to one side of the triangle ABC that is AC and it divides the triangle into two equal parts that is it divides the triangle ABC into triangle XBY and quadrilateral AXYC which have equal areas. Area of this triangle is equal to area of this quadrilateral. So we have to find the ratio of AX by AB. Okay, so to find this ratio, first of all, let us prove the triangle ABC and triangle XBY to be similar so that we can find the ratio of the sides of the two similar triangles that is AX by AB. So consider triangle ABC and XBY. Okay, so write down in triangle ABC and triangle XBY. So here we can observe that this angle is common for the two triangles XBY and ABC. So we will write angle ABC is equal to angle XBY. Angle ABC is equal to angle XBY that is because of the common angle. And also they have mentioned us that the line segment XY is parallel to the side AC. So since these two lines are parallel, whenever these two lines are parallel and when there is a transversal passing to two lines, we have corresponding angles to be equal. Two angles are formed which are corresponding. So angle 1 is equal to angle 2 because they are corresponding. So let this be angle 1 and this be angle 2. These two angles will be equal. Similarly, angle 3 will be equal to angle 4 because they are corresponding. So write down angle 1 is equal to angle 2 and angle 3 is equal to angle 4 that is corresponding angles. Okay, so now if you observe that there are three angles that are equal in these two triangles that is ABC and XBY. Therefore, by angle 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 similarity criteria, we can say that the triangle ABC is similar to triangle XBY. So therefore, by angle 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 similarity criteria, triangle ABC is similar to triangle XBY. So now since these two triangles are similar, now we will apply the theorem 2.6 which we have done in my previous videos that says the ratio of the areas of two similar triangle is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. Okay, so area of the triangle ABC by area of triangle XBY will be equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding sides. That is theorem 2.6. I have given the complete explanation of this theorem in my previous videos. If you have not watched that video, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So write down area of triangle ABC by area of triangle XBY. So we will take the sides ratio now. Since we have taken in the numerator triangle ABC, so we will write the side of triangle ABC in the numerator and in denominator we will write the side of triangle XBY. Okay, so you cannot exchange the side then it will give you a wrong answer. Side of triangle ABC is AB and the corresponding side of the triangle XBY will be XB or BX. So we will write AB by BX the whole square equal to the second side ratio that is AC by XY the whole square. Similarly, third side ratio that is BC by BY the whole square. Now, if you look here, what we have to find? We have to find the ratio AX by AB. So, this side that is AX by AB. So, AX by AB will come under this uh, ratio proportion that is AB by BX square. So, we will just take this ratio for now. Okay. So, write down area of triangle ABC by area of triangle XBY is equal to AB by BX the 
whole square okay and also what is given in the question what is given that is the line segment xy which is parallel to ac of triangle abc it divides the triangle into two equal parts of equal areas so this line segment xy divides the area of abc into two equal parts that is into triangle xby and quadrilateral axyc whose areas are equal so we will write down that area of triangle xby is equal to area of quadrilateral axyc right so write down area of triangle xby is equal to area of quadrilateral ax y c area of triangle abc is sum of the area of triangle xby and area of quadrilateral axyc right so write down that also that is area of triangle abc is summation of area of triangle xby plus area of quadrilateral a x y let us take this as equation 1 this as 2 and this as equation 3 now let us substitute 2 and 3 in 1 so substitute 2 and 3 in 1 so we will substitute the area of triangle x y b value and area of triangle a b c okay so we will write area of triangle a b c as area of triangle x b y plus area of triangle a x y c area of triangle xby plus area of quadrilateral axyc divided by what is that in equation one that is area of triangle xby area of triangle xby equal to ab by bx the whole square again we have here area of quadrilateral axyc which is equal to area of triangle xby from equation 2 so again substituted this value of area of quadrilateral axyc okay so write down area of triangle xby plus this will be area of triangle xby again plus area of triangle xby divided by area of triangle xby area of triangle xby which is equal to ab by bx the whole square so here area of triangle xby plus area of triangle xby will become two area of triangle xby by area of triangle xby so area of triangle xby and xby will get cancelled okay so adding these two we will get two area of triangle xby divided by area of triangle xby equal to ab by bx the whole square the numerator and denominator area of triangle xby will get cancelled and you are just left with ab by bx the whole square is equal to 2 so let us find out the ab value first so since we have to find out the ratio ax by b a b so let us find out the a b value first in this equation let us take square root on both the sides so that this square term gets cancelled so taking square root on both the sides so we will get a b by b x the whole square is equal to 2 so taking square roots on both the sides so the square and square root term will get cancelled and we will be left with this implies a b by b x is equal to root 2 or from this we can write the a b value by sending this b x to the right hand side so we will get a b is equal to b x into root 2 so let this be equation number 4 so now we have to find out the a x value so if you look at the figure a x can be written as a b minus b x right so write down from figure a x is equal to a b minus b x right so now let us substitute this a b value here okay so from equation 4 we will get ax is equal to ab value is bx into root 2 minus bx so if we take bx as common outside so we will be left with root 2 here and minus 1 here as bx comes out so ax value is bx into root 2 minus 1 so now let us take the ratio which we have to find out that is now ax by ab 
right let this be equation 5 so now let us substitute the value of ax and ab from equation 4 and 5 okay so if we substitute value of ax that is bx into root 2 minus 1 and ab value is bx into root 2 so this bx and bx will get cancelled in the numerator and the denominator and we are left with root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 so you can leave it as it is as this answer is also correct but further simplification is also required because we cannot leave the denominator as irrational okay so we have to convert this value into a rational number okay so we will write down ax by ab is equal to root 2 minus 1 divided by root 2 so we have to multiply this denominator in numerator and denominator again so that we can rationalize this number okay so this implies so root 2 root 2 into root 2 minus 1 this is the numerator right and the denominator is root 2 into root 2 so we have already learned that root a into root a will be equal to a right so root 2 into root 2 will be equal to 2 if we open this brackets now we will get root 2 into root 2 that is equal to 2 minus root 2 into 1 is root 2 divided by 2 so this is the answer that is the ratio ax by ab is equal to 2 minus root 2 divided by 2. So, this is the value of ax by ab. So, this is how we solve this problem. That is example 9. It is very important problem. So, it's better you practice and understand this example for better scoring. So, if you have any further doubts, do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be starting exercise 2.4. That is question number 1 from exercise 2.4, chapter 2, triangle. So till then, do like my video, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC insert math. And also watch the related videos of chapter 2, triangles shown on the screen. Thank you.